right on top of it. Very smooth, I'm, I'm right in the groove. So these devices started coming out a few years ago um, and so nationally we wanted to see how useful are these devices because we would like to give them to all the veterans who qualify for them. Um, so it's a nationally run study. Right now we originally had 10 sites that we started with and we've expanded it to 15. Um, we're looking for anyone who's a veteran and has a spinal cord injury, any level. Um, as long as you got hand function we can get you up in these devices and get you in one of them. So, um, with this study, we basically want to see how long or how useful these devices are in the community. So, the idea behind this study is we have a screening phase where they go through a lot of tests and measures, and then we do a training portion. Um, but ideally, then the study is, or then the participant um, takes the device home for four months. And so they get to use it in their community, in the home, and we really see how much people use these at home because they're really nice and bright and flashy, but we want to make sure that veterans are using them. Um, so, we um, can get them what they need. I'll find out how bad my spasms are. Basically, the more I sit still, the more spastic I get. I liken it to an able-bodied person learning to walk on stilts. So if you're walking stilts, you have to, quote, feel the ground through a wooden or metal leg. And that's basically what I'm doing through the robot, because uh, I'm completely paralyzed from my rib cage downward. So it's kind of like the robot is my stilts, and then I'm using crutches as well, so I have three-point stance. But um, that, that would be the, the thing that it's most similar to.